365 Days This Day is finally streaming on Netflix globally, but what about 365 Days 3? Given how the first movie ended on a massive cliffhanger and the spicy twists and turns in the sequel, it's no wonder people are anxious to find out any details they can on the third, and probably final, movie in the trilogy. Most fans already know that the Polish erotic thriller movies are based on the books by Blanka Lipidska. Once the first movie blew up on Netflix, the streaming service went ahead and ordered follow-ups. It's basically Netflix's answer to the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. Interestingly, the original movie was not a Netflix production but an acquisition. The sequel and the third film were produced in-house. The debut movie broke multiple records for Netflix when it premiered, so it'll be interesting to see how 365 Days This Day does now that it's out. Laura and Massimo's story comes to an end. Twists and turns might be underselling it as 365 Days This Day's ending will have left fans stunned and wondering what the future holds. So here's everything you need to know about 365 Days 3, Aka the next 365 days. Life this way. When can we expect the next 365 days? While we know that the next 365 days is on the way, Netflix has yet to confirm the release date for the third movie. Luckily for fans, the second and third movies filmed back to back from May to June 2021, so we don't have to wait for the Thrakel to shoot. It could mean that we'll see the movie later this year on Netflix. That was certainly the original plan, as in the official announcement, Netflix said they're slated for release on Netflix globally in 2022. After that cliffhanger, they clearly don't want to make anybody wait, so hopefully it'll arrive sooner rather than later. If the release date of the English translation of the third book is anything to go by, we could see the movie in September 2022. And did you like it, B? It was pretty good, but in my entire life I had better. However, neither of the previous two movies have matched up with the releases of the books. Right now, we don't have a specific release date. Sorry about that. Who's coming back for the next 365 days? It's been confirmed that the third movie will bring back Anna Maria Sakluka and Michelle Morin as Laura and Massimo, respectively. They'll also be joined by newcomer Simone Susina as Nacho who, in the sequel, fell in love with Laura. Their blossoming relationship is probably ruined by the revelation that he's the son of a rival mafia boss who's the eternal rival of Massimo's family. Magdalena Lamparska and Otter Saralids will also be back as Laura's BFF Olga and Massimo's right-hand man Domenico, respectively. The duo got engaged in the sequel, so hopefully their marriage is happier than Laura and Massimo's. It's unclear whether we'll see Massimo's long-lost twin brother Adriano, also played by Morin, unsurprisingly, or Massimo's former lover Anna, played by Natasa Urbanska, back in the third movie. Both were shot at the end of the sequel and their fates remain unclear. What's the next 365 days about? If you want a full breakdown of the drama that happened in the sequel, we've got you covered here, so we'll just focus on the big stuff. As if the revelation of Massimo's twin brother wasn't enough, the sequel also ended with Laura being shot by Anna. It's the second time that Laura's fate has been left ambiguous, but surely we'll see her back in the third movie. She might have some explaining to do with Massimo, though as she didn't tell him that she lost their baby during the accident at the end of the first movie. We were the ones who pushed you into his arms. Massimo's twin Adriano revealed it to him during the tense showdown, but Massimo obviously didn't have time to dwell on it as Laura was shot. The Thrakel will again be based on the book by Blanka Lipidska, and the synopsis for the next 365 days is as follows, as the wife of Don Massimo Torricelli, one of the most dangerous mafia bosses in Sicily, Laura's life is a roller coaster. She is often at risk, the potential target of Massimo's unscrupulous enemies who will stop at nothing to destroy the powerful man, it reads. And when Laura is seriously injured in an attack, pregnant and fighting to survive, Massimo faces the toughest decision of his life. What will his life be without Laura? Will he be able to raise their child alone? What will the fate of his family be, and whose 365 days may come to a close? While the seriously injured part certainly tallies with how the sequel left Laura, the movies have diverted, diverted slightly from the book plots. After all, unless she's lying to Olga, Laura is no longer pregnant in the movies. 
The third book's English translation comes out in September 2022, but the original version was released in 2019 and fans weren't impressed. Among many twists, Laura has a miscarriage and gets addicted to alcohol, while Massimo kills her dog and kidnaps her again, she'd gotten with Nacho by this point. Here's hoping the movie continues to deviate from the source material as it sounds bleak 